hello everybody welcome to 2020 this is my first video in 2020 I'm wearing my shift coin talk shirt all right it's not a it's not a medium shirt all right I'm not I'm not flexing on anybody it's just you know Bitcoin dad gave me the shirt in this size so it's what it is uh, you know thanks for watching the video I appreciate it man this video is this this video is, is taking me quite a quite a while to get through because I had to find like the, the the perfect spot I had to find like the, you know, the perfect area to, to shoot the video you know whatever it's cool all right let's uh, let's get into it so uh, today's video is gonna be about Zcash right Zcash Zcoin cash Z Zuko Wilcox is a uh, cryptocurrency um, so I mean if you if you if you, if you think about it one of the uh, main use cases for crypto is just being able to send money, uh, you know, privately to and from places. You know, even if you're, you know, you don't have to be a criminal or anything. Some people just want to move money without having, you know, every everybody watch it and you know know what you know what you're buying and what you're selling. So you know, if that's one of crypto's like strongest uh, use cases, like you know, how come? How come you know the 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 premier privacy coins don't pump as much as you know Ethereum does or or you know Ripple or all these other you know scams? Well, Ethereum is not really a scam, but you know R Ripple is. Well, I don't I don't know about Monero specifically, but we're we're here to talk about Zcash. So and I'm and I'm gonna tell you why I think Zcash you know never never pumps right. Well, yeah, we'll get into it. So, you know, just to begin, you know, you all know what Zcash is. You know, you know how it came about. Uh, no need to, you know, introduce it too much. Now, let's let's start from from the very beginning because you see, when I when I got into crypto in 2015, um, me and my cousin were looking for like the next Bitcoin. You know what I mean? We, we were like, oh, you know, this is already too late. Let's find the, you know, the, the next big one. And uh, my cousin was looking at some currency, you know, uh, some world world computer currency that was going to launch pretty soon, something called Ethereum. And I was like, nah, that's not going to work. It's, it's too fanciful. It's, it's bullshit. And I was interested in, in something called Zero Coin Protocol, right? And uh, in fact, if you look at my bookmarks, you know, like one of the one of the very first you know bookmarks that I uh, I had, uh, you know, right on there, you know, Coinbase and CoinMarketCap, is you know the Zero Coin Protocol, right? Because I thought this is going to be huge. Um, and and of, and of course, you know, when I started looking into it, I saw that you know um, the founder, you know, Zuko is, is like a proper proper OG, you know. Uh, uh, Satoshi linked to him on like his website or something and you know like it, it just drove me crazy I felt like I was I was here at the beginning of something new something powerful so you know what you know I was hyped you know I was hyped I was waiting for this of course you know zero coin protocol was supposed to launch on Bitcoin of course it didn't launch on Bitcoin it launched as its own cryptocurrency because you can't do anything on Bitcoin without setting off a, a, a civil war Ethereum was, was supposed to launch on, on Bitcoin as well, but you know, whatever. That's a story for a different day. So in 2016, Zcash launches, right? And everybody went crazy, all right? Everybody went nuts. People, people were buying mining rigs. People were buying mining contracts from, from people. There was a, a company called Genesis Mining. They were oversubscribed. People were paying huge amount of money for you know mining uh, 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 Zcash for the first month or for the, the, you know, the, the first year and, and all these crazy stuff and, and you know, they were paying crazy amounts of money I'm thinking of a, of a specific if every every OG you know bought a mining contract right except me of course because I, I knew I knew better but every OG you knew bought a mining contract right especially someone like you know Nita coin the the idiot he put in a ton of money in, into 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 mining contracts and, I, and I, you know, I told him not to do it but of course he didn't listen to me 
uh, some other other names. I, I'm not gonna name names, but people were buying private mining contracts from pools, right? So like, if I had a mining rig, if I bought a mining rig for Zcash, I would then privately over DMs or whatever, you know, get people to pay me money for 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 the you know the capacity to to mine Zcash for like the first week. The whole thing was just really dumb, but it didn't matter because the hype. The hype was there, all right? Lunch day comes, right? Lunch day comes, Poloniex, the, the largest shitcoin exchange at the time, was like, yo, we're gonna list this thing on launch. It's gonna be huge. Bitmex was like, you know what? We're gonna list a futures market and it's gonna be huge. The hype is there, but we're gonna set a, uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna set a, a limit of 15 BTC per, per C cash. So it's almost as, as if they knew they knew what, what was going to happen, right? And I, and of course, the day it, it launched, you know, it went to 3,500, you know, BTC per per Zcash. You know, people traded the first few fractions. I, I I remember watching it live. I traded the first few, you know, you know fractions. If I have, I probably go pull up some uh, old trading history from from Polonia, so you know that I have. But I I traded you know Zcash that day. I I made money. So, but then of course. The red flags started showing up. You know what I mean? There, there's something called a, a trusted setup, and I, I think most people forget what this is, or you know how it possibly impacted um, uh, Zcash. But to just give you a quick, you know, overview of, of what a trusted setup is, I'm gonna read this uh, image that I, I have here. Uh, before launch, and every time the project deploys a hard fork, a secret number must be generated. A derivative of which used in the Zcash protocol, referred to as the Zcash multi-party computation ceremony. This number is typically created in several parts by different people, six, uh, blah, 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 blah. But if the ceremony fails, our participants collude or someone figures out the secret otherwise, that person or group can go again and create money out of thin air without being able to without anyone being able to notice now this this is important because i think no one talks about this because everyone's like everyone's so sure that zcash is you know is sound there's no fake money out there floating around but no one knows right no one knows and, and of course you know zcash is um i'm not entirely sure about this but no one knows like how much zcash like actually exists like it's it's that anonymous right like if if i if i minted a bunch of fake zcash no one would find out unless like people went out there and looked at all the you know balances or whatever you know all, all, all the publicly available balances and then you know adding it up or stuff but like there's no like block explorer you, you, you can just go to and see how many you know zcash there exists right no one knows now i'm, I'm not saying that this is what happened I'm, I'm just trying to like point out this very first um sort of uh, fake decentralization right because it's it's six people right six people creating this shit so it's it's fake and i just want to point that out for a, a later point right I'm not, I'm not saying the the trusted setup was actually hacked or whatever but here's the big problem the fucking dev fund oh my god the dev fund is an abomination <laughs> all right so basically when zcash launched right they they had taken three million dollars from investors and stuff to, to to be able to actually bring the the project to you know fruition so so um in in the in exchange for for this um privilege something like 10 percent were was uh, sold to 10 percent of the Coinbase for the first four years was sold to investors who paid you know, three million dollars. Of course, uh, no one knows exactly who who these people are, but from, from what I hear, that there was a, a coalition with you know, a bunch of other people named you know, Wilcox. And that there was an, I think Nathan Wilcox and and you know other people who are related to Zuko bought the stuff. Now, here's my my. Um, calculation okay from 2016 to 2020 today something like uh, 9 million 
uh, Zcash exists, right? And of those nine million, nine hundred thousand have basically gone to this debt fund, right? Just a bunch of free money. If you calculate the value of those those coins today at today's market price, that's forty six million dollars, right? Today's market price of you know point zero two three uh, BTC per per Zcash. Now that that right there is like more than a 10x return like for 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 the these people literally 46 million dollars worth of just free coins to just dump on everybody for the last four years okay but that's at today's you know market price right if you actually take if you take the moving average over the last four years for Zcash and BTC and multiply it by 900,000 you get the actual amount of money like the the estimate they would have made from this trade right it's 153 million dollars so consider that like literally 156 million dollars of free coinbase to just dump on everybody a 51x return on the original three million dollar investment literally 51 x 5100 percent and and of course you know you have zuko out, out here uh tweeting about how he loves buying groceries without having to worry about the cost this is a this is like the 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 very epitome of you know bragging right brag tweeting right you know you're not gonna brag about lamborghinis or whatever but you you'll brag about buying groceries you buy, you know, brag about buying groceries without, you know, having to worry about about the costs, right? Whatever. So let's come back down to today, right? Now, assuming you've uh, you're a, a good bag holder like like uh, um, T Mac, and you've been holding for four years, you're hoping for uh, you're hoping for good uh, FA to to come back, you know. Oh, it's gonna be good after after the the death fund is over markets will resettle uh, you know th there won't be any more magical free coins for the, the devs to, to you know dump on you you hold for four years you lose money then all, all of a sudden they tell you hey we're gonna we're gonna extend the uh, the death fund right and, and you know you're you're thinking ah it's it's okay you know the 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 community is not gonna agree with this the the miners are not gonna agree the the, the the people running nodes are not gonna agree the exchanges are not gonna agree whatever you remember how like six people originally did the uh, trusted setup well the exact same thing happened but but in this case I, I think it was four people who like agreed over some. Uh, uh, over like a, a Facebook call or something some ridiculously like centralized system to basically continue the debt fund again and it's like without caring it's like again it's based on the original three million dollar investment the five thousand one hundred percent return on the investment was not good enough for them they had to con continually extend the, the debt fund and get more free coins to, to dump on everybody okay I, I just don't know how else to say it but like Zcash is literally the same thing as IOTA and, and XRP and EOS and, and all these other major scams right it's just a, a, a another project that to cash grab on the the, the blockchain hype and, and, and the cryptocurrency scam right Zcash is just complete trash. Don't invest.